Uh, some years ago I made a video on a whip made by an Italian wood maker. I compared him with Michelangelo. Well, isn't it? I mean, Italy. Doesn't, doesn't Italy, Renaissance, art? And, well, whip making is an art. No doubt about that. And when you hear whip making and Italy, what comes to your mind? I think the man who created this beauty here is a real artist. You know, when I made the review on his work um, last time, he was good. He was very good, absolutely, yeah. But in the meantime, he became better. And in my opinion, um, in my opinion, he is the best whip maker we have over here in Europe. And his name is Giovanni Celeste. This whip is very special in many ways. First of all, this is Ruhide. You have here two natural materials brought together, well, blended into each other. Wood and Ruhide. It's really wonderful to see because it is like, it's like the wood becomes leather or this way the leather is becoming wood. Really nice very very well made the handle of this whip here is um, you see that that turned part here I can't say it you know like a spiral the thing is that some people think and on the other whip it, by the way it was called the tamer so if you're interested in that video just go to the whip basics to the playlist with basics reviews and the name of that whip was the tamer well this one here is the same principle. That means this here is not a solid piece of wood and then carved. No, 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 this is a solid piece of wood, but it was cut two times, like this, and then like that. And then you had here the solid handle, and then it went like poof, this. And then you had four pieces coming out here of the handle, and um, with a lot of work, with a lot of time, um, and damp, this whip was turned millimeter by millimeter, inch by inch, until it had this form. The handle is reinforced with steel to make sure it doesn't break and to assure the flexibility it has. Isn't that amazing? It's really, it's fantastic. So, on the details. Um, Ruhite, well, a wooden handle well and what makes that wood so special it is that it is elegant this wood is pure elegance so don't get me wrong well, I was a beginner myself but this wood is not for the beginner okay because it is very kind of fragile this whip here is for a whip handler who really knows 
how to value a well-made whip and not for the people you know those self-declared whip masters on youtube land calling themselves whip master or indiana jones impersonator wearing a hat and an elvis t-shirt but that's another story or the burst those folks holding a whip in the camera and then saying well that whip you know the crack loudest gunshot yeah you know to be honest before i would handle over this whip to one of those funny bunnies i would rather cut it in pieces and bury it down in my garden or cut it into pieces and put it right Yeah, better this. You know, this is a whip you can use for multiple routines. Absolutely, yes. But not this very fast stuff, you know. Like I said in another review, if you like to do that bum, 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 fast routine stuff, well, that's perfect. When this is, if this is your cup of tea, it's not mine. But hey, that doesn't mean that it's bad. But this whip is not made for that bum, 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 bum for that brute force cracking this whip is elegant you know it's like a ball pen and a fountain pen you see the difference you know what I mean and this here is the classical Mont Blanc fountain pen it will take time to break in and you have really to make it yours this whip will help you to develop your own handwriting because this whip is not very forgiving this is a, a little diva, but it's really cool because, like I said, it is very fine made. It, it weights nearly nothing. Wait, I know when I, when I got this whip for the first time, I had it in my hand and my first thought was, oh my God, I have nothing in my hand. Seriously, really, this is, I was, I said, wow, okay. You know, you know look at that here, you know, the thong, how, this you can can you see this you know it goes right over here if this transition knot wouldn't be here without that transition knot it would look like the wood just goes over into the leather without anything it's really fine okay so the thing is that um being very lightweighted it is not that it's going to flutter around in the air when you crack it. No, sir, it goes exactly where you want it to go. But that means that you know how to tell this whip where do you want it to go. Some people think, oh my God, oh my, Robbie Emperor, that guy's crazy. He talks about uh, uh, listening to the whips. Yeah, okay, probably I'm crazy, maybe, yeah. But in my philosophy, in my opinion, those pieces of art those artworks when some way they talk to you in some way they tell you how they want to be handled it's like a classic painting you can sit hours and hours in front of that such a wonderful artwork and you will find details again and again and again and it's the same thing with such a whip okay when you crack this whip you have really to overthink your methods. You have to control. Am I overdoing anything here? Am I using the right amount of energy? Or probably do I use too much energy? Really, this whip is not forgiving, okay? So, um, the flexible handle is very good for bringing the energy from the handle right into the thong. It's like water, seriously. Um, compare the energy you give into the handle with water. So you crack the whip, you bring it forward, and so the energy, like water, goes down here, and it runs, it runs smoothly over into the thong, and it goes on down to the tip, and you have a crack. But again, don't overdo it. This is not for the heavy-handed cracker. If you like heavy whips heavy working whips, then this whip is definitely not for you, okay? 
it's yeah it is a piece of art and I, I'm pretty sure um, you can have this whip in different colors too you know another uh, other uh, tone for the handle another uh, tone for the leather you know some dark tan black or brown or saddle or whatever just talk to the whip maker so um, here are a few pictures to show you how the inner life of the whip is how it looks how it was made you can see here the handle with the steel reinforcement and then you see each single layer here is bound so you have a very stable and strong transition and to be honest you need that because this transition here this transition is a transition that won't break down no matter how often and how long you will use it you know if you treat it well you can give this whip to your grandson if you like if you treat it well very important so it's important that it has such a springy transition because like I said the whole thing is very very lightweighted and so when you just go on when you give um, when you put in the energy here in the whip and you just go whoop like this oh stop stop <laughs> um, and then it will travel down there and crack okay Giovanni Celeste is really really the guy um, yeah like I said I compared him with Michelangelo a very passionate artist of the Renaissance and Giovanni Celeste is made exactly out of the same wood yeah pun not intended but <laughs> well it works I think okay so and for those who want to see what the whip looks like when it's in motion what I'm going to show you it's poetry it's poetry that has become wood and leather just watch it Like I said in the video, in the inside, this whip is very good for a easy, relaxed cracking. Okay, the handle stores the energy, and that way you don't need a lot of power yourself. In fact, you need nearly nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate you the whole thing. For example, the underhand crack. Everybody knows it. Some love it. Some hate it. It's this one. Thing is, usually you have the whip straightened out behind you in a nice and safe line, as I used to say in the videos. Now, usually you have the whip there, you have your arm back there, and then when you crack the whip, you bring your upper body forward, your shoulder forward, you pull the arm, and with the arm you pull the handle and the whip, and the whole thing looks like that and you have a crack. Now, with that handle, the handle storing the energy does not need as much weight as a not flexible handle would need, okay? So, I'm going to cut down the whole thing. That means this time I start the crack right here by my side. So I take away a lot of the, a lot of the runway for the whip, okay? And it looks like this, just like that and you have a very sharp precise and loud crack okay and um, before it oops I have to watch for Claudia's flowers you know the old story um, before I tell you more about the handle because there is something I have to tell you just a few cracks for you to see how the whip behaves what it does when it's in the air
So that for the impression of how the whip works, what it looks like, and so on. And here's the problem. Well, um, problem is not the right word for that. Let's call it a point. Like I said, the handle is flexible, like this. And this is a good thing, but when you bring the handle back, like this, you can see it stores the energy by bending back. Now that means while it goes back and stores the energy, you need to hold it very straight, very strong, okay? This is very important because the moment the handle stops to bend and the thong starts to pull on the handle, there is a chance that you go like that with the handle, you go like that. And that's not what you want, okay? What you want to do is you hold it very, very, very hard at that moment. I know usually I say, don't, don't be so tough, you know, just be flexible. Well, at this point, you have to hold it because, like I said, the whip goes back, the handle goes back, and the same moment, it stops to bend, you know, it has the, it, it has the maximum energy in there. And when you give in here with the wrist and go back with this, the energy is lost. It's basically lost. Okay, so a flexible handle stores the energy by bending. And so it's important that you hold against that. Otherwise, that stored energy will be blown in the wind. Uh, there is a problem, a problem with the idiots. And well, I, 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 yeah, I mean both. Here I'm, I, I mean problem and idiots because Again, by storing the energy, you can crack the whip very easy and you will have a wonderful, beautiful, elegant crack. You know, like, like this. You go like, and you have a crack. Pretty, again, it's for the flowers, I'm just careful. So, once again, like this, I go like, and have a wonderful crack, very easy, just like this, you know. I, I even don't bring my arm up like this. I just, I'm here and I have a very loud and short crack. But if you're now one of those people who say, why now I want to crack loud as a gun shot. And when you watched my videos before, you know exactly what I want to say with that. The um, thing is that when you let the handle store the energy and then, on to, and then you bring it forward with a lot of force, you add those powers, you know. And then, oh my God, you can have a wonderful, fantastic <gasps> well, crack. You know, like I always said, when you do things like that, um, you see a sharp and clean crack, finish. I called it finish. I think it was in Whip Basics Volume 2. I'm not sure right now, but yeah, you need finesse to crack the whip. By the way, finesse is not a bad thing to crack any whip, but you know, I said this very often and so, yeah, whatever. You see a very, very easy motion like this, and you have a very loud crack, very sharp. It's just, in fact, I let do the whip all the job. I just change the direction, you see, that's all. And I have a huge, nice and clean crack without doing these things, okay? Because you don't need them. Very easy, you know? No, no force needed, just, just a little flick of the wrist and it works just perfect. No power, no effort, just let the whip do the job. And that's 
everything you need. So, now that's it. I told you everything you, you need to know about the whip. When you want more information, visit uh, the homepage of the whipmaker, Mr. Giovanni Celeste. And, um, well, I would, I would be happy if we meet again in the next Whip Basics review. And just, if you are interested to see more like that, in that style, watch the video Whip Basics, Whip Review, The Tamer. Thanks for watching and goodbye.